Hey there, in this demo we're going to be talking about text and overlays. Uh, more precisely, creating text and then using overlays and textures to, um, <clears throat> to um, alter the words so that they look different or better or worse or whatever you're trying to do. Um, so you can see here I have the text tool selected already and I'm going to um, I'm going to, I have my font up here, it's called Ghost Words, and it's regular, and there's the size of it. Um, if I pull down on these, I can change the size to something normal. Um, this one only has one style of words, and I have all these different fonts to choose from, but I've chosen Ghost Words. So I'm going to write or type out Photoshop text. and put it there. Uh, so now what I have here um, is a text just like it would be in Word. I can select it and I can adjust, well there's only one thing, I can adjust the kerning, like how close the letters are together. Um, I can adjust the size and what percentage they are next to each other or add any of these um, functions to it. Uh, so in, in every way, it's um, I can scale it. Um, in every way, it's just normal text. I can also, if I select the text with the regular, if I get out of the text tool, well, in the text tool, with it selected, you can see if I hit a uh, control button, it gives me um, handles for changing the text. And you can see when I do up here, it changes the point size. This is the best way to scale text. The other way you can do it is hit, uh, come out of the text tool, grab the regular tool and hit control T. And it'll allow you to, um, change it normally. Oh, I, I actually have to pop it down and get it out of text mode. Uh, in order to do that, I would have to create another layer and then take this and then merge it down. And then I can hit control T and then I can also alter it. However, oops, um, then it's no longer uh, a text. It's now a raster image. So you want to keep it nice and um, in within the text parameters uh, in for as long as we can. I guess I could have made it a smart object and then done that stuff to it. Uh, and then it would have maintained its textness. Um, but those are different ways to scale it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is um, um, talk about uh, how do we go about, oops, I created another layer. Gotta watch out for that. Okay. Oops. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, color is up here too. So I can include, uh, choose color and alter that if I feel like it. I think we're okay with this. All right, so you want to keep it um, so you can edit it with the text tool. Unless you're done editing with that, and then you can, it gives you more versatility. All right, so now what I want to do is use the uh, selection tool. And I'm going to hold down Shift and click in each layer. I could select the white part and then select inverse, but I think for this particular thing, this would be a little faster. And of course, this doesn't work as well with a paragraph because there's way too much to select. Uh, but it'll work for our header here. And now what we want to do is just um, use a, um, uh, we're gonna put a this picture on it. So I need to select this picture. I come back here and just hit Shift Control Alt V. And you can see that now 
our text has that picture in it. I can still come back here and add layers, but it's, I'd have to create a new mask for it because this mask is um, on a, a different layer. It's not part of the text. I have the text exists as one layer, the mask exists as another layer. And of course, uh, as we talked about before, we can go in and find a blending that works for it. Overlay seems to work pretty good for this one. I don't even need to uh, alter the um, alter the um, opacity or anything. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do is select the text again. Come over here, add another picture. Little teeny tiny one. This is a dirt map. I'm going to select the dirt map. And then on the layer above all this, shift control alt v for paste into. And now you can see I put a dirt map on there. Now this one I'll do as a blend or a multiply. And I can reduce it. So for instance, if I wanted this to look like kind of like water, right? So that's what it looks like. This is pretty good without the thing, but then this patterning uh, kind of makes it look like water. So now I have Photoshop text. I should say like Photoshop beach text or something because this is super uh, that way. Okay, so those are overlays. Uh, they work just like we did before with the car and stuff. You just uh, put them in a layer when you um, are ready to um, get this uh, to um, move this or use this, you're going to need to either collapse it or save it as a PNG or something like that. Uh, or you can just save it like this and, and then save a PNG. But in order to have all this stuff together, you have to grab all these layers and move them at one time. Um, one last thing is the blending options. Of course, now that all these Blending options are available for us. Uh, we played with these before, but um, they're always a little different. Yep. I don't think I like the pattern glow. Pattern overlay? No. <laughs> Gradient overlay? No. Although I don't mind that. Satin. Inner glow, no. Inner shadow? I don't think so. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's not bad. So you can combine all these. Um, and if, if I were to take the different layers off, there's our font with the blending options only. I can go in and turn them on one at a time. I can turn these back on. I don't think there's anything on this layer. I think I like it better without that. <clears throat> and I don't really need the inner shadow. I don't know, the inner shadow adds a lot, darn it. Um, well, there you go. So um, that is uh, overlays and texture maps. There's the texture and blending tools with text. Now again, in order to 
utilize this as one piece, you'd have to convert this to a smart object. And then you can um, then it, it goes, but it's no longer a text. It's now a raster image or not a raster image, it's a smart, smart image, but it acts as an object, uh, as, a, as an image, not a text. If you want to get at the text again, you have to double click on the smart object and it'll open up the original one and then you can change it. And again, if you change the text, you have to redo these because the text, this is just an overlay image on top of the text. It's not part of the text itself. Cool. All right, you guys are all ready to go. Have fun with that one.